this is protection and coordination uh, it up study part two in part one we discussed about this uh, protection system this configuration we already discussed uh, drawing the single line diagram and setting of the uh, uh, relay CT CB transmission line grid transformers etc and once again we will run the protection and coordination study here and in this video we will plot the TCC curve so first of all let's click here start protection and coordination then you can see at the right hand side uh, this one is the fault insertion so let's check again if we insert the fault here in uh, this bus number four okay cb4 open cb3 cb2 and cb1 okay it's working fine now let's create a fault in bus number three cb3 cb2 cb1 okay also let's check if we create a fault over here this bus number two then cb2 and cb1 okay that means in case of any fault in the downstream network then the intermediate upstream circuit breaker will have to trip and sequentially we have to trip the other upstream circuit breakers as well to protect the downstream network now let's go uh, to the time current characteristic curve tcc curve so okay before that uh, before that let's create a fault again in bus number four yeah this breaker will open and finally this one so now let's uh, check the sequence here sequence of operation if you click here then you can get this sequence dialog box if you see this relay 4 relay 4 this overcurrent element 51 relay 4 uh, is picking up and due to this CB4 is tripped by relay 4 phase overcurrent 51 then relay 3 then relay 3 and corresponding CB3 circuit breaker this is stripped next relay 2 this re relay number 2 and it is stripping circuit breaker CB2 and finally relay 1 it relay 1 it is stripping CB1 so, and these are the uh, these are the time uh, when relay is operating uh, relay is picking off and corresponding circuit breaker is being tripped by the corresponding relays okay because as I have already mentioned in my previous lesson that if you uh, want to check this relay configuration here over here you can see this uh, OCR OCR tab and here we have only checked this overcurrent element so for the time being we are not considering now instantaneous protection for the uh, simplicity here and we have selected the normally inverse NC normally inverse characteristic and this delay is picking up 1.1 and time dial is 1.59 and we have selected this Alstom P139 P139 uh, overcurrent relay now let's let's go back to TCC curve to check the TCC curve let's select the entire zone 
now click here create start view if you click here now you can see this total selected single line diagram is here you can drag and drop simply drag and drop put here outside you can zoom okay you can zoom a little bit ah. okay now now if you see this is the TCC curve for all four relays so this is relay 4 relay 3 this is relay, uh, relay 2 and this one is relay 1 okay we can we can see the grid view grid lines over here okay or you can turn off also okay now we can adjust now we can adjust here okay before that if you want to uh, see the details just put the cursor and it will show all the relay details over here and you can you can show here also like this just click here settings then the details will come here you see this is coming okay so this details is coming like this all details can be obtained from here else the p139 relay ctd show 50s to 1 and see normal inverse pickup time dial so each and every setting is mentioned here now if you want to if you want to adjust this curve you will notice the time dial now 8.16 you see time dial 6.16 and the pickup you see based on the time dial this characteristic curve can be moved and how much you can move this curve so for this you can get a concept from uh, here you go to this plot options plot options over here click here okay now here under general click on show range now okay okay now if you move this cursor you can see the maximum range and the minimum range so between this between this area it can be adjusted so it is showing the range over here okay now the basic principle to coordinate the protection system in any electrical network just keep in mind that from downstream as I have already discussed from downstream it will be coordinated so from from, from, from this end this relay 4 this will be the bottommost element then relay 3 you see this relay 3 position then relay 2 and then relay 1 like this so never relay 4 will move after relay 3 then this coordination is not proper you see in that case relay 3 will pick up earlier than relay 4 if this relay 3 takes pick up before relay 4 then this coordination is not correct so for the proper coordination we have to we have to select this relay 4 action first that means we have to trip this cv4 and then relay 3 as well as cv3 so for that reason you have to drag this relay 4 element over here then relay 3 then relay 2 and then relay 1 so this is the basic principle of, of this coordination you can simply 
you can simply drag this one because you see again it is showing the range again it is showing the range so in between you can place and also you can see the time difference here you see at the right hand side it is showing time difference just click here come to this point suppose from here to here sorry We want to check the time difference between these two curves. something problem I think okay now let's go back to grid view I'll check that one once again and this is a transformer in rush value from here you can also adjust you see like this you can adjust here or if you want to move this this relay also this is in between this and this so this is the range you cannot you cannot go beyond this range and you cannot go beyond this range also so in between you have to put this one because this is the this is the uh, normal inverse characteristic curve so uh, this is the y axis second um, in uh, uh, time in second and this is the multiples of current this is the multiple of rated current in this logarithmic scale so like this and you can take you can take the uh, print out also uh, print preview you can take print and from plot options you can you can change the color also you can change you can change the color of the grid lines uh, and also you see this devices general so extended okay display KV okay you see this grid color is changed now so you can you can uh, take the printout also like this so in this way this protection coordination can be done for any number of relays for any number of uh, uh, electrical circuit networks but uh, so the basic principle is that the downstream downstream relay will be at the bottommost level then then upstream and then upstream and then relay one this is the first one relay really.